Hello everyone, this is Ranjit from GCS MDM team. In this video, I will show you how we can call a simple search match API. So he here is the agenda. I will give an overview of search match API. I will show you what are the parameters we need to pass with search match API. Also, I will give a demo how we can call a search match API. So search match API API generates a list of search results by identifying matching records in a package or base object using MDM hub match columns. We can call search match API with, with a match rule set or without a match rule set. So if you are not using any match rule set, it will generate a match rule on fly with a field purpose and it will give weightage, equal weightage to all the fields. To call a search match API, the records must be tokenized, otherwise it will not give any result. To tokenize the records, we can use a tokenize API or we can run a bad job to tokenize the records. Here are the parameters we need to pass with search match API call, match colon field or records to match. These parameters specify which match column to use. If we are using match column field, we can directly pass the match column we have configured on Hub Console. If we are using a records to match, we need to pass the physical column and internally it will map uh, this column and column values to a match column we have configured on Hub Console. With Cypher and object UID, we need to pass package or base object on which we want to do a search. We need to pass the match type as well to do a search match call. Uh, so there are four type of match type we can pass. Auto, if we are using this, it will do a. It will. It will use a auto merge rule only. If we are using both, it will use auto merge as well as manual match rule. If we are using none. It will not use any match rule, it will create a match rule on fly and use a field purpose to do search and match. DB filtered, uh, it increases performance when a fuzzy search is based on non-selective term. Now I will show you a demo how we can call this API. So this is my configuration. Uh, I have selected fuzzy as a search match strategy. So if we want to do search on a child table as well, we need to configure a match path. So here are my match columns. So I have four match columns, address part one, address part two are child table columns. ID and person name are the parent table columns. So I am using person name as a fuzzy match key and for this I am using first name and last name as physical columns. So if I am using a match column field, we I can pass directly these columns to do a search. But if I am using a records to match, I need to use first name, last name for fuzzy, fuzzy match key. For ID, I, I would need to use ID. For address part 2, I would need city, state and postal, co postal code columns. And for address line 1, uh, I would need to pass address line, header line 1 column. So this is my match rule set. I am using a person name purpose with address part 1, address part 2, id and person name columns. So now I will show you a simple request. So with this first request I am using a match type both. So there are two Cyprian object UID we can pass with this Cyprian object UID we can use uh, package or base object so it will use uh, this package or base object to display the search result 
with this Cyperian uh, object UID it will decide a driving table for search image call you can give a, either a base object or a package so I am using records to match here so I would need to pass all the physical columns and uh, their values so this is my first name and last name so internally it will concatenate wa uh, value for both this column and map them to person name similarly I am passing other columns value id adder line 1 it will map this to address line 1 and uh, city postal code and state it will internally concatenate and map to address line 2 here uh, I am passing my match rule set which is rule number 1 and this is Cyperian object UID which will be a driving table for search match call I will fire a call so here it has written the result so a score is 100 if I will change the name so now I am not passing the exact name so it will give me penalty and reduce the score so score is 98 with this request I am using match colon field so here also I am using match type both uh, with person name I am giving concatenate value for first name and last name with address line 1 I am giving adder line 1 column value and with address line 2 I am giving concatenate value for city uh, state and uh, postal code and I am using the same match rule set okay so a score is 97 I'm not passing the correct uh, address line 1 if I pass it to 2000 it will give me score 100 so with this request I am using match type none so if I am using match type none I don't need to pass the match colon UID so I have removed that so here it is score giving 95 so I am passing the 3000 separate Woolworth port for address line 1 here but in this request with match rule set I am passing the same value here but here it is giving me score 97 but with match type none it is giving me score 95 because it is using a field purpose here and with field purpose it will give equal weightage to all the fields here I am using a person name purpose so it will uh, it will give there are, so there is a less weightage for address address part 1 and there is a higher weightage for person name but with field purpose it is giving equal weightage so it will it will it is giving more penalty and reduce and reducing the score so this is the how you can you can fire a search match call thank you